All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about global objects in Factory Talk Site Edition. Now, there's two types of global objects in Factory Talk Site Edition that you could use, and again, maybe in your application. I'm gonna to talk to you about one in particular that might not be working for you or you might be having trouble with. But first, let's talk about the difference between the two. All right, so with global object, uh, or with global parameter definitions right here, all you would do is drag it over and you would right click and you would go down to your global object parameter values and then you would load in your values. Now again, at this point, your, your global object may look a lot different than mine. You may have more parameters or less parameters. Keep in mind, this is just where you enter in your information. Um, in this case, it's asking me for my HMI topic or area, which is going to be my uh, HMI shortcut and then my tag value, okay? So let's go ahead and delete that one and let's go back to our other one. And I wanna focus on a tip that you might not be aware of, okay? You might not be really, um, you might be having trouble with uh, the one that is using without global parameter definitions, right? So uh, if this case, I'm gonna basically copy all these, I'm gonna drag them over and then I'm gonna come over here and this uses tag substitution um, which in this case, if you were to look at this, if I come over here and go right here, I can tag substitute, meaning I can use tag substitution, and that was that would be how I load my parameters. Okay, but just keep in mind, I just I just moved everything over, and now at this point, I want to open that up, and I don't have the ability to tag substitute. Now there's a reason for that, right? Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna delete this from my, and, and this goes for any of these tags, right? I don't have the ability to do any of these whatsoever, right? So you see that, okay? So now I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna come back to my global objects right here. And in my global objects, I'm gonna pick one at one of them. It doesn't matter which one I do. And I'm gonna go down to global object defaults. Now in global object defaults, the settings that you need if you're going to use uh, the parameter passing or tag substitution with your global objects is you need to set your defaults, okay? So the very first one is linked animation default. Uh, you wanna have that one as linked with expression. And the second one is going to be linked uh, connections default. You wanna have that set to false. Then the next one's gonna be link size default. Uh, you wanna have that to true. And then the link tool tip text default, you wanna have that as true as well. So you wanna have these set just as I showed, then press apply. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and hit save. And then we'll come over here and then we'll copy all these like we did before. And then we're gonna drag all these, actually, uh, let's actually undo that because I drug the wrong thing. Let's come over here and copy all these. I'm holding the, the control key, and then I'm just gonna drag this over. Now, if I go into here, I have the ability to do tag substitution. Now, that is because I set my global parameter uh, defaults. Now, if you don't have your, if you're having trouble with that, and you're having trouble with parameter passing or even tag substitution with the global objects uh, and you're using that specific global object, the one I'm referring to is going to be with it without global parameter definitions. So again, there's two different types, right? So sometimes uh, when you get a large package um, of say uh, in this version, it's gems, you may get plant PAX, uh, you may get something of that nature, something very, very similar to this, um, where you have one with parameters that you're gonna be using with global parameter definitions, and then you're gonna be using one without, right? So the one without, just make sure you're gonna, and you're gonna have to set this on uh, your computer as well. So right here, um, if I use this again, like if I use this one over here, if I hit go the control key and I use this and I pull this over, and I drag this over here, I still have the option, right? Anywhere over here, I have the option to do the tag substitution because the tag substitution is now an option I can use for this. Now again, this is a working screen. So with that said, come over here and delete that. Now if I hit play, 
obviously I haven't substituted any tags yet so all I would need to do is come over here and close this and stop get it out of uh, the play mode and then I would come over here and substitute my tags now substituting tags is done a little bit different and I'll show you that in another video but very 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 first what I wanted to show you is how to get that working if you did not have the ability to get that working well very first you need that's the very first thing you need to do is learn the defaults right so and how do you do that is you go into your global objects whichever in this case would be this global object right here pick any of these you want to it does not matter and you, you go to global object defaults and make sure you're set to these settings okay so there's four different settings in here just make sure you're set to those settings and then you will be able to do tag substitution okay so with that said um, you know that's the basically the understanding and the thing I wanted to pass on as far as you know helping you solve that problem because again when it comes down to it there's two different types of actually passing parameters uh, one's very simple very easy the other one does have that little complexity to it and I wanted to make sure that was very clear and precise on how to do that because if you do load one and you do have the same problem that I had uh, you come in here and you load these and the defaults were set to the wrong um, the global object defaults were set wrong you would not have the ability to actually pass the parameters you would not have the ability to tag substitute so with that said again hopefully this solved that problem for you and again when it comes down to it we'll see you guys on the next one